Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to discuss about uh, select list. Actually, uh, this is the new topic for the select list. Just I am going to add a group of item in the select list looking like that in ASP.NET Core and how to do this in ASP.NET Core. That is a very simple example uh, I am going to show you. And here we have the school name that is name and that is the class name in the school. And here we have the second school that is light and inside it here we have the classes. Okay, so how to do the group of items uh, just I'm going to add uh, in the select list. So how to show the group name as well as the item names in the select list. So or you can say that the group of items how to show in the select list. So uh, just going to the code view and just I'm going to stop it here and here we have that is a very simple thing you can do it here that is you know that uh, here we have a uh, first of all create a group item view model just go to the definition and here we have the school name that is a string type and a list of the item because just I'm I'm going to show you because a group by cause is actually written a single key and the list of items oh, uh, you know so in the groups controller just I'm going to get all the groups information I mean to say that all the class information in the items like that uh, list of group items and uh, just use group items items dot group by I dot school dot name that is uh, the group key you can say so group by that is the school dot name dot select G for the group items that is here and new group items so I want to pick it here and the school name that is G dot key and item that is G dot to list and here we have just written two list values okay so after that in the group item in the here we have a list of group items and here you can say that here we have a select list with the category select or you can say that the any name you can just add it here and option is select a category and after that for each loop a group in the model so each group dot school name just I want to show on the option group with the label like that and after that we again we use for each loop and here we have a group dot items like that so item dot names and item dot id in the option value so here we have that is everything uh, inside in the select list so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core